Welcome to our nerd video. Uh, we're going to demonstrate the uh, cloud functionality. Uh, we've got one final hurdle that we're working on trying to, to get through uh, to allow the system to transition from cloud mode to our local infrastructure mode uh, seamlessly so that you can leave your uh, home and transition to cloud mode uh, and when you come back home transition back to infrastructure mode without having uh, any difficulties or uh, confusion when that happens. So uh, I'm going to walk you through where we're at right now. Uh, so we've got the uh, Nerd app set up and we are going to be able to connect to uh, our Nerd that's right next to the tablet. Uh, what we should see once we're connected is we should see a notification that there is a firmware update available. And we'll just take a video here of that process. Uh, so that you can see what the firmware update process looks like. So you see in the upper left hand corner after we've connected that we have been prompted to update the firmware. To start the update firmware process you just click on that button. We've got a progress bar that will indicate the progress of uh, the firmware update. Uh, so we'll just sit and watch that. Alright, so welcome back. Uh, this is the completion of the update. As you can see, the firmware update was successful. Uh, so now we've got the latest code uh, loaded into our NERD. So what we're going to do, uh, while you're away, what happened is that the firmware update completed. Uh, the NERD itself reset, uh, and so once that reset occurred, uh, we may or may not have disconnected from the Wi-Fi. So we're going to check that again see if we're still connected. Looks like we've reconnected. So now we should be able to verify our functionality. So as you can see, we've got no more indication that an, a firmware update is necessary. So uh, this is running the latest and greatest firmware that has the cloud enabled. Uh, we are currently set up for momentary. What we're going to do is we're going to change configuration. We're going to change output one to latched. We're going to configure output two as a timer. So now we can click it on and off, or we can trigger a timer. That'll flash. All right, now that we've got our outputs configured, what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll connect to uh, a network. Now, what I'm going to rely upon is our trusty editor to edit out our password so that we don't tell everybody how to get onto our network here at work. All right, so we have, uh, we have configured this for infrastructure mode. Uh, we're able to control it. We are on the same network. Um, you can see indicated in the app, uh, we've got the Wi-Fi uh, to show that we're connected via Wi-Fi instead of direct. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our nerd configuration, uh, and we're actually going to enable the cloud. Uh, so we just click that, and what will happen is, uh, you don't see this, but at the NERD, the NERD has been uh, configured so that it will uh, enable the cloud, uh, and it's now resetting, and there is going to be a short delay while the NERD resets, and then once it resets, it's going to wait. Uh, it has a 60 second delay uh, currently to connect to the cloud. Uh, and that's been put in place to allow us to connect locally uh, when we're in cloud mode uh, so that we can have a, a faster, more uh, responsive environment. So what's going to happen now is you'll see the video cut out while we don't make you wait 60 seconds watching us. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to a different interior network. Uh, we've got a couple of networks set up on uh, different fixed IPs. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch to our uh, office uh, network instead of our development network uh, as an opportunity to do uh, to test the cloud. So we've connected up to there. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll back out. We will start the nerd. Okay. So now we've connected via cloud. And you can see that. Uh, we've got a cloud symbol here on the left, uh, and what we also have is the ability to control it um, via cloud. Um, one of the ways you can tell that you've got a cloud connection is, you know, if you compare back to our previous uh, direct connect, 
uh, there is a small delay between when a button is pressed and when the action occurs on the device. Uh, we've done our best to minimize that, uh, but it is still there. <clears throat> And you can see that the updates were not communicated back as quickly, so you don't have as clear of a picture of the status of everything that's going on. That really applies only when you've got a very quick switching uh, timed event. Uh, on the longer timed events, you're going to have time to be able to uh, update your, uh, your feedback from the NERD uh, to be able to see that. As I mentioned before, uh, one of the difficulties that we were having was switching between cloud mode and infrastructure mode. Uh, our cloud mode, as you can see, has some delays in it uh, to try and provide the best user experience possible. We wanted to have the switch made from cloud mode to infrastructure mode when your device is in uh, the same area as the NERD is. So if, when you're on the same network as the NERD, we want that to operate in infrastructure mode uh, so you have the best user experience possible. Um, so we really just wanted to put together this video to show you that we are making progress on the cloud. Um, like I said, we've got uh, a, a couple of little tweaks that we need to do to uh, improve that user experience, uh, but we're hoping to get that uh, wrapped up here very, very soon. So uh, thanks for watching the video.